Hey guys, my name is Kelly Ellie and I am back playing The Sims 4 with you guys. I decided to kind of shake things up um, and start another rotation. So this is the Billings household. I have done a create a sim that will come up before this video. So if I'm a little bit repetitive, uh, I apologize. I haven't done the voiceover for that create a sim, so maybe it'll be fine. Um, we'll just have to see. But... Oh, this is Granny and Pa's house. I built this a long time ago with the intention of adding some grandkids to them. They are deep in the existential fear um, right now. <laughs> so this is Granny and Pa. I did not give them real names. I just left it at Granny and Pa and tried to make it easier on me because that's what I ended up calling their house. And I knew that's what I wanted to call them in the game. Um, so a little bit of backstory if you didn't see the create a sim. These are their two grandsons, Shane Billings and Ian Billings. Um, I, in the create a sim video, I only created their mom. So I'm not sure if their dad wasn't in the picture or if they lost both parents, but they have lost their parents or mother, who is the daughter of Granny and Pa. Um, to some kind of you know wild life event i didn't go into detail about what i thought that was um i don't really have any ideas for that i just know that she's not around anymore so that event has affected their personalities so shane has become a gloomy sim because he's lost his mom he's really struggling and then Ian is a toddler. He doesn't understand why his mom's not coming back around. So he's very fussy. He's having a hard time. Um, so yeah, these two boys have moved in to live with their grandparents. I didn't change this room up too much because I figured they just got here. Maybe we'll personalize it some more as they um, come around. This bed used to match here, but I changed it to fit a toddler. Um, I wasn't sure when I built the house what gender the grandkids were going to be or what their personalities were going to be like. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of took a look at the Sims we were already playing with and tried to keep things kind of balanced between the little um, generations and friend groups and things like that. And that's how I came up with these two guys. Um, so, yeah, let's let's take a look at what everybody needs to get done he wants to get a skill up and he wants to catch a fish so i think i'm gonna send him um and shane out here to go fishing together granny wanted a successful lineage i don't know how i'm gonna make that work because it said become a parent um and it didn't count because I didn't load the mom in. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure if there's a way for me to cheat that or not. But she's going to come take care of little Ian, I think. He needs some extra love and attention for sure after losing his mom. Um, but I think overall the boys will be fine. Um... But they're definitely going to have some stuff that they deal with as they get older because of that loss um, and the like confusion that comes with that. My idea for Pa is that he's kind of like the neighborhood granddad. Um, I don't think that the two boys lived super close um, to their grandparents before. And so um granny and pa just kind of like adopted everybody in the neighborhood and so they were they i want them to be pretty close with um all the families that we end up moving in i think pa likes to take the kids fishing all the time um what did i put for granny she doesn't have any skills yet um what was her personality Okay, she doesn't have any, like, super defining personality traits, but I would like to pick a hobby that she likes to do with the kids as well. Um, gardening would be an obvious one, but we don't have a ton of gardening space here. We could always go over to um, the little garden that's up in the top corner. I'm going to get rid of Prank Day. Um, 
and hang out there with the kids. I did build a conservatory before I started on YouTube so we could load that into another town and have her travel to that. Um, we could do music. We could do sewing. I don't know. Maybe, maybe baking. But we're already kind of doing cooking with Leo. So I don't know. We'll just kind of have to see like what she gravitates toward. I do kind of see them as younger grandparents um, in in real life they would probably be in their 70s I kind of imagine 60s or 70s I don't know what's considered a young grandparent I had really old grandparents <laughs> so I don't I don't really know I mean my mom's in her 60s and she's not a grandparent yet but like I also would see her as like way younger than these two guys. Okay, Shane can now play arithmetic games. Uh it looks like maybe oh the welcoming committee's here. Oh good. I'm so glad that um Invite neighbors in. I'm going to have the two boys um, stop their fishing for now and come. Yes. And come help um, entertain the neighbors. Oh my gosh. Travis is here and he used to be obsessed with Natalie. This is awkward. He's cranky. Um, oh, no, we're not going to bite. I'm going to have him talk to Leo. I kept wanting to control Natalie just then. Okay. Greet new neighbor. I wish they had brought the kids. That would have been so nice. I do think that Shane and Ian will end up pretty close. Um, I think they probably got along pretty well in their last home. Um, and they have kind of like a special bond because of everything, because they lost their mom. <laughs> He's just going to drop his fears of dying on Natalie. Maybe that comes about from losing his daughter as well. Like, He's like, my time is running out, and I've got these two grandkids that I'm responsible for. Aww, they express devotion. What is going on with our little guy out here? He needs amusement. Um, we have a toy box. We don't have a ton of kids stuff right now. Um, I kind of gave him the, the minimum. He's doing pretty good. He wants to catch another fish, so I might send him back out. Um, to go fishing. All right, Pa is getting hungry. Um, so let's make some dinner. I guarantee the house is going to set on fire. Let's do mac and cheese. The boys just got here. They need a comfort safe meal. We'll do some mac and cheese. He's hungry and tired too. Oh, he's feeling sad. I'm super excited for all of the households to have these like older kids now and they've all got toddlers or whatever and I'm just excited. They're all going to be friends. It's going to be so fun. Tomorrow will be um, Shane's first day of school and then also across the street 
little Theo, and then also his friend Franklin will be going to school tomorrow. I don't think that Sadie has aged up yet. I probably should have checked in uh, to see when her birthday was, but I think it's about a week after. Um, what am I trying to say after Theo's? So I think we should be okay. Okay, I gave them a little kitchen update. Uh, they definitely have plenty of money, so I got him a new fridge and a new stove. He was kind of complaining about it. This is so cute. Oh, Rolf Bukwex and Oz. Yeah, through ya. I feel so bad for them. All right, um, it looks like everybody's going to start getting settled down for bed, so I will see you guys in the morning. Oh, no. Okay, that didn't last long. I forgot to put a nightlight in here. Was he talking to it? <gasps> That's so funny. Shane was unsuccessful in his attempt to communicate with the monster under his bed. Looks like it doesn't want to be friends right now. Uh-oh. Hmm. I completely forgot about that. I don't think I'm going to get a nightlight right away because he seemed pretty keen on like becoming friends with it and I haven't really explored that too much in gameplay because honestly this whole thing every night gets pretty old but... He's kind of a gloomy, strange kid, so I think it might be fine. Okay, it is bright and early uh, Monday morning. Everybody's getting ready to go to school, it looks like. A balanced meal. Someone said eating dirt was okay, but someone else said eating dirt will make you die. Is it okay to eat dirt? Eating dirt is really unhealthy. All right, Pa's going to go pay some bills, and I'm going to have Granny give Ian a bubble bath. Okay, let's go ahead and potty train him while we're in here. Why didn't we finish giving him a bath? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Well, he didn't get potty trained, but Pa's going to read a little, little story to him. Shane is back home from school. No need to make room on the refrigerator door. His work is merely satisfactory. And he's returned with a project. Okay, let's get his project out. Uh, will it fit up here? Or should we put it maybe... Hmm. I'm going to set it there, I think. Which, thankfully, reset the weird stuff going on there. Granny's going to come ask him about school. And she's going to help him with his homework. Let's see. I had some notifications about people he met at school. Uh, okay. No one that we're like super interested in. Oh, your buns. Let's try to potty train him again while we're in here. Jimmy Geza Ugnate Unga 
Crivix Aquanario. For Renee Nova? Nova! Huh? Oh, Naru. Oh, Bin Koopa! Swarpsa, be seek. Ah, day you'll see the. Is he still refusing to potty train? I missed it. Umbraza? Huh? <laughs> yes. Oh, they can't access it. Why? Uh, let's try just putting it in here for now. That's kind of annoying. Alright, Shane finished his homework. He's still... Oh, he's hungry. I'm gonna have him grab some leftovers. Don't want to. He's being defiant. Our body moy ball. Have breath. <laughs> dag dag. Oh, okay. Here we go. We're finally getting some potty training in. Uh, I don't. I don't think so tonight, Leo. I just don't want to pause what I'm doing to go hang out at a festival we've seen a million times. Aw, that's so cute. He's playing in the tub. Oh, it makes me so happy that they have like a safe place to live and hopefully grow after the loss of their mom. Here's where we go potty, not in your pants. Aww. She's thinking of memories. Oh good, he acquired the potty skill. Okay, everybody's getting settled down. What is he doing? Reading under the covers. He is so cute. All right. I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, it is bright and early on Tuesday. Pa is up and little man is about to be awake. So I'm going to have... What's he doing? Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have him give some food to Ian. And he is also hungry. I'm going to have him serve up some breakfast. All right, Shane is off at school. I'm going to go ahead and set him to make friends again. Uh, I think I will have him. Everyone seems to be talking about a birthday party that Shane wasn't invited to. He kind of thought the host was his friend, so it doesn't make any sense. Should he ask his friend or let it go? Um, I'm going to just have him let it go. 
Later, he finds the invite in his cubby buried under a stale bag of pretzels. Oops. Good. Okay, he can now use the potty chair by himself. That's, like, the biggest thing. Okay. She wants to read to him, um, but I'm not sure we can without the children's book case. Let's just purchase a toddler's book. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Okay, who does Annalise belong to? Hello, where did you go? Uh, I don't recognize that last name. <laughs> oh, who's at the door? I do not know you. Yay, he finished his school project. Oh, it's a cute little volcano. What's broken? The toilet. Oh, I forgot that I selected him to be uh, artistic. Um, so we probably need to get him a little activity table pretty soon. Oh, and I also wanted him to sign up for an after-school activity. I think he'll want to do scouts. Even though he's creative, I think he'll still want to do scouts. They're already outgrowing their room. We probably won't be expanding onto this house, though. Like, it's just something we're going to have to deal with. Not everyone has the means to redo their house. Oh, he had a nightmare. That's why I can't get him to go to bed. Okay, he's fine now. I'm gonna start sending them all to sleep. Okay, and we are back. We didn't have anything happen with the monster under the bed last night, but we are having a terrible thunderstorm today. Granny is feeling very hungry. I'm gonna have her come serve up some breakfast for everybody. Ooh. 
Shin left for school before we could get him some breakfast. Okay, decide what we're doing to the baby, please. All right, the storm has passed, so I'm going to send... Oh, maybe not. I'm going to send... Oh. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Doesn't make sense to send him out in this. How typically old man of him to sit out on the porch and watch it. All right, we need to give the baby a bath. Alright, and Shane is back home from school. He's a little smelly, so he's going to hop in there. I should have <laughs> I should have found a way to put two bathrooms in this place. Okay, Shane is feeling hungry. He's going to grab some food. And then I think I'm going to have him do his homework. that little thing. I've never noticed that before. Let's slow it down and see what we get here. It reminds me a lot of the little like pop-up things that were coming up um, during the last trailer um, for the, what was it called? The Growing Together thing? Which I am super excited about. Yeah, what is that about? All right, he's pretty tired. I'm going to go ahead and send him to bed for when he gets done with his homework. Pa is also feeling very sleepy. Um, yeah, it looks like everybody's pretty tired and they're all really upset by this storm. So I will probably go ahead and wrap this episode up here. I'm not positive if we will be back with these guys in the next episode or if we're going to move over to, um, Sable's household. We'll just have to see. Um, I'm probably going to take a break and do some more editing from content that I haven't released yet from earlier in the month. So yeah, um, up. Oh. And we're back up. <laughs> I really hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Um, 
hopefully I can get back on more of a schedule, but I can't make any promises at this point. So we'll just have to see how it goes and hope for the best. But thank you so much. Make sure you like, comment, or subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!